Hello and welcome to another episode of Full Spectrum Survival. Today we wanted to talk to you about fuel sources for fire making. We've seen a couple of people on YouTube, namely Giuliani and Cole Hain, and we'll link to their channels down below in the channel bar. They use wax impregnated cotton balls. Um, I'm sure you've seen everyone spark a fire with a ferro rod and they'll often spark it into a petroleum impregnated cotton ball. And the fire will then last 30 seconds or a minute that they can start to get their uh, first class of tinder um, ignited from that. But the wax impregnated cotton ball acts as a small candle with wax that is frayed inside of it that will catch the spark and stay lit for three minutes. We've even clocked them up to five minutes depending on how, how much wax you put in your mix. So I'm going to show you how to make those today. We brought out a stainless steel painter's can, got this for a dollar. Um, we have a couple other ones that we've used over and over again, but we brought a new one out for this video. We've got some dollar store candles. These are really great in the dollar store's emergency section. You get six to a box. Uh, it's a good thing to have 10 or 20 boxes worth in the house. And we've got our cotton balls. Now you can use any sort of cotton. You can use the women's makeup pads, uh, which is a great high density cotton, or you can use just the normal cotton balls like we have here. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and break up these wax uh, candles. I'm gonna put them in here. Now I'm gonna get them on the fire. One thing we wanna mention caution over is that wax, wax does have an ignition point. Um, if you're not using a double boiler, the wax can actually uh, catch fire and explode right on, right on site. So please use caution if you're doing it at home. I'm gonna go ahead and get this started and thank you for joining along. All right, guys, we've got the wax candles broken up. What we're going to do now is put them in the pot. We're going to put that directly on the flame and get these melted. Once we get them melted, you're going to see us add the wax cotton balls in, stir them around to get them uh, well saturated with the wax. All right guys, the wax is completely melted. We're gonna go ahead and add our, our cotton balls in. Now what you'll wanna look for is, you don't wanna to add too many cotton balls in that you still can't move them around. You still wanna be able to stir the cotton balls around with the stick. Um, if you have too many in there, the fire that you get with the spark or whatever you're using to extend the fuel uh, with the impregnated cotton ball won't last as long. We're looking for a key, probably three to five minute burn time on our wax balls. So you'll see we're going to add about probably 30 to 40 cotton balls in. Um, we're going to give those a stir here in just a second. Now don't worry, you don't have to be too careful about dirt or anything else. Um, whatever gets in there is okay. You're still going to get a good flame out of it. Go ahead and take it off the heat. We don't need it to burn anymore. We don't need the uh, wax or the cotton balls to burn on the bottom. All right, guys, as you can see, the uh, wax is almost completely saturated the cotton balls here. And um, we're gonna go ahead and set these out, let them dry and they'll harden up and we'll show you what we get at the end.
All right, guys, as you can see, the wax is completely gone from the vessel that we burnt it in. It means the cotton ball soaked up everything that we had in there. Um, you'll see the cotton balls retain their ball shape. That's exactly what we're looking for. As soon as they harden up, you'll be able to see that you can split one apart either with a knife or, uh, or just with your hands and you'll get frayed cotton uh, center, you'll get a frayed cotton center that you can light with a spark, with an empty lighter, with really anything that you have. <clears throat> we should put them up here on this wood. It's a good idea. It won't look half bad either. Hey guys, it took a little bit longer than we expected to get them dry, but we wanted to show you the final product. So we've set these up on this uh, saw palmetto root to get dry here. We've got one that'll take a spark. You'll want to fray it apart so you can get those very fine um, fibers of the cotton to show and that's what will catch the spark. You see there, even though we have a windy day like today, because it's impregnated with the wax, you'll, uh, you'll be able to keep the flame instead of it just blowing out like you would with a petroleum jelly impregnated cotton ball. Again, we thank you for joining with us. Please subscribe if you like our content and send us any questions or anything that you'd like to see.